your sister. Our whole life since Lillian's been born has been kind of like a roller coaster ride. She was born at 30 weeks, one pound, four ounces, 11 and three quarter inches long. She was ill several times in the NICU. She was tested for Schwachmann Diamond Syndrome. She's been tested for cystic fibrosis. She slowly stopped eating anything by mouth and we just did tube feedings. She's had three colonoscopy endoscopies. I can't even remember all of the different things she's been tested for. They had been to many, many institutions. They had been seen by many doctors. They'd been seen by geneticists. They'd been seen by all sorts of other subspecialists. She had been through so many different tests and with them all coming back negative, I think that at times that they wondered if they ever would find a diagnosis. She became sick in fall of 2010. I remember looking at her one day and feeling like she was dying in front of me. She had gone from 24 pounds to 18, and they couldn't figure out what was wrong. So that's when we came to Children's. You know, the whole concept of the whole genome sequencing was new to us. Genome sequencing is a process where we examine or we look at all of the genetic material, all of the DNA, all of the instructions that a person has. Its purpose is to help us diagnose children when we've not been able to find a diagnosis before. Many physicians suspected she might have a genetic condition. She really fit many of the criteria of a patient who had an unexplained disorder and for which there may be potential treatment strategies. Genomics is, is almost our, our fulcrum, if you will, to the reach out to the many, many specialties that our genetics program supports. One of the remarkable aspects of whole genome sequencing is really the range of patients that we've been able to help patients with intestinal problems, patients with immune problems, patients with neurologic problems, patients with cancer. The list goes on and on. If they could find something that would tell us why Lillian is who she is and, and why she has the problems that she has, that was our number one thing. Anything to give her a better life. When we finally found the molecular diagnosis for Lillian through her genomic sequencing, we were just ecstatic. I couldn't wait to pick up the phone. I couldn't wait to call them. She's the first child that's been diagnosed with this in the United States. She's unique. The diagnosis is unique. We have an answer. It gives something for the specialist to continue to look into to see what they can do to, to better help us. Lillian has made tremendous progress over the years. Every time I see her, she's doing better and better. By doing the whole genome sequencing, we don't have to keep searching. If it weren't for Children's Hospital, we're not sure if Lillian would still be here with us today.